Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing fine. This is mathematics. In this lesson, we want to look at the question you're seeing on the board. The question is from 2016, General Certificate of Education, GCE, Paper 2. Question number 2B. Simplify 3A divided by 5C squared times 10 C to the power 3 divided by a squared. The first thing you do in the exam is to identify the topic from which the question is coming from. When you see such, just know that we are talking about algebra. The second step is to copy the question exactly the same way you are seeing it. Don't make any mistake. So we'll be able to copy 3a over 5c squared times 10c to the power 3 over a squared. Now that we have copied the question, what next? We start simplifying, all right? Reducing the number of terms, also making it simple. We have a combination of numbers and variables. So we're going to start with numbers. Okay, you're going to start with numbers. When you have a multiplication symbol in between the fractions, just know that you can reduce the numbers and also variables. So we're going to start with the numbers, okay? Look at the numbers that have been provided. We have three, we have five and 10. Can we reduce those numbers? And when we say reducing, we are simply saying dividing, okay? So when you are dividing and you have a multiplication in between, it means you can divide like this. You can also reduce like this. You can reduce like this, like this, but you can't reduce like this, no. In short, I'm saying you can reduce a numerator and a denominator. So a numerator here, denominator. Numerator here, denominator. Denominator here, numerator. You can reduce, but you cannot reduce numerator, numerator, or denominator, denominator. We don't do that. You can't reduce like this. You can't. So now with numbers, we are going to start with numbers. Look at the numbers that we have here. What can we reduce? We have a 5 and a 10. So 5 can go into 10. Agreed? Yes. So we're going to say how many 5s are in there? 1. How many 5s are in 10? 2 of them. What else? We are done with numbers, okay? We can't reduce any further with numbers. So we are done just like that. After that, you're going to copy what has remained. What you have remained with. Copy. Okay, don't do everything at once. You get uh, confused and you'll be able to make mistakes in that way. So we are going to have 3a here, which is 3a, like this. We also have divided by c to the power 2, okay? That is what has remained. The 5 has gone. Times, we have 2 here. We have c to the power 3, like this, okay? Over what has remained here, a squared. Don't be putting equal sign here. You are simplifying not solving. Okay? So from there, this is what has remained. What next? I'm done with numbers. I will go to variables. Can I reduce some variables here? Yes. I've got A. That can be reduced with this. C can also be reduced with that. So I'll say, okay, here, how many A's do I have? One. So I'll cancel this A. Here, how many A's do I have? Two of them. So since I've cancelled one here, I'll also cancel one here. And if I cancel one, I'll remain with the one A. Okay? I'm done with that. Go to C. I've got two C's here. That is C squared. This is C times C. Here, how many C's do I have? Three of them. So I will cancel two here. I'll also cancel two of them here. When I cancel two of them, I will remain with one C. Are we together? There are three of them. You cancel two, you remain with one. Now you are going to copy what has remained. Three here over. When you cancel here, it means you have remained with one times 
here to C over here A. Have you seen? Then you multiply. What is 3 times 2? 6. There's a C over 1 times A. A. And nothing can be done. You have simplified. Bye-bye.